What is it that we try to change when we talk about culture? It's very simple. We're here because of our customers. We're here for our customers. And for us to, to be best, we have to understand our customers. So what have we done to improve support over the last couple of years? We've implemented our CSMs, our customer support managers, which are the link between the customer and us. We're investing in our dynamic component shop. We've made a significant amount of investment in our inventories. We've invested in lowering our pricing, lowering the cost of operations of the aircraft. And it's a big investment for us, but it's one that we have to do as the leading OEM in the helicopter industry to provide the right level of service for our customers. Quality and safety have always been our trademark, but the Airbus customer experience means that we deliver the right tailored training for each individual operator. Our instructors have developed advanced integrated curriculum from anything such as ab initio training for first time private helicopter owners, all the way to the US Army Lakota training program, where we've trained over a thousand Army pilots. Our training center in Grand Prairie, Texas is the heart of our training in North America. However, regardless of where you are in the world, we are one Airbus, one team, with dedicated resources on every continent to meet your training needs. So one of the things I want to influence internally is a true team spirit. This is how we're going to generate a better customer experience. Our CSMs, our customer support managers, our sales managers, our CAM key account managers work hand in hand in what we call a clear and efficient front office. They work as a tandem to improve the support that the customers are expecting to receive from Airbus helicopters. The high level statistics for us is our OTR performance. This is key, 96.6% .6 on average meeting our customer demands, 98.5% when customers are giving us orders greater than 15 days. This is the most important statistic we have in terms of customer support. In addition to that, we're investing in our dynamic component shop in the U.S. and in Canada. What we've done is transform our overhaul shop to be more efficient. We have about $150 million worth of inventory and about 80,000 square foot to store all the materials for our customers, whether it be for the military, uh, for civil, uh, parapublic. We're always changing, we're always modifying, we're always updating with the latest technologies. Well, over the last couple years, we at Airbus Helicopters, we've had the time, we've taken the opportunity with this market slowdown to say, let's look at what we can do better to improve the customer experience. It starts with understanding what a customer needs in their completion, understanding the importance of delivering on time, understanding the quality that is expected, all the way up to ensuring that the technical queries are answered at a proper time, that the spares are ordered on time and delivered on time, and that we have competent technical representatives that are in the field to answer questions real time and in person. We want to be very close to our customers. It's why we implemented the CSMs. It's why we have the clear and efficient front office. It's why we invest in our tech reps. The customer is our number one priority in customer support, and everyone in the company is working toward that goal. We are all in customer support, whether it be in finance, whether it be in engineering, it doesn't matter. Everybody is focusing on what does it take to keep our customers flying, to keep them safe, and to keep them in our product. When I go out now and I see our customers, the first comment I get is, we like what you're doing, Chris. Don't change it. Continue. This is the right recipe. When the market comes back, you will already have had the experience, you'll have developed a culture, and we will have a trust that you'll continue to support us as we now start to grow.